Good afternoon, world. It is 4.29 p.m. in the afternoon, coming to the evening. Hope you guys enjoyed my video I made earlier today in the morning about my 17. So now, now I'm going to switch it up. Like, sometimes I'll talk about Zenith, sometimes I'll talk about Sky Source, sometimes I'll talk about my 17. But I don't know what videos you guys like the most. You like it better when I talk about my 17, me playing Sky Source, or like Zanus. I mean, they're all interesting ones, and yeah. I'd probably say Zanus is the most interesting one, right? It's about the movie project, obviously. A good five minutes, ten minutes. I'm gonna go upstairs and get my coffee. You guys, you guys have to excuse the wait. If you don't want to wait, skip the video. If you don't want to wait, skip the video, guys. If you don't want to wait, skip the video. Once I have money off a book, I'm going to start Sky Source. I'm going to hire my seven team, my photographers, and my web designer and graphic designers. And or I might run off and live my life, um, just just live just live my life for for decades and, and not even work. Obviously, I'm going to have to have this talk with myself or my wife. Um, VJ will tell me why we think this is a good idea, but I think it's a great idea. I want to be a movie star. But if, but if VJ says no, it's not a good idea, I will not start Sky Source. I know you guys would be pissed off, but yeah, the it's my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't blame him. I, I understand why I didn't start Sky Source. He, he, you know, these men all fucked his wife. He could, he, 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 when, he, when he's working, he can be a bit depressed. A bit sad, and the night can read his mind. Obviously, so it's a nightmare for Ivan. Obviously, and uh, yeah, Ivan took his money, ran off, and just lived his life. Obviously, but I told you if I did that, it eventually get a bit. It wouldn't get boring, but I, it's it would seem like I have no purpose in life. Like I came here to, to 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 what? Me and my wife came here to display our glory to the world. So what's the best way for the two gods to display their glory to the world? Be a movie star and be in a documentary and games. There's no better way of displaying your glory than being a movie star, being in a documentary, and being in a fucking game. That's why I want to start Sky Society. And acting alongside big Hollywood actors, famous Hollywood actors. There's nothing there's nothing better than that. There's nothing, nothing better than that, yeah. Zara. You not only have Ivan and VJ or Ivan, don't hate me because just you also have Ivan and the Hollywood actors. And that's why my movies will have crazy role like us, obviously. Because I'm I'm also hiring Hollywood actors to be my the stars in my movie. Famous people, yeah. Yes, they're puny compared to me, and I'm only the main show, but they're gonna build some buzz, obviously, the actors. The big ones are gonna build quite a bit of buzz. The small age has built some buzz, and the big, these actors don't really build much buzz, but the, because they're Hollywood actors, anyone knows who they are, they want to build buzz. All the actors I chose for saying is everyone around the world, some people around the world, a good chunk of the world know who these actors are. The A's actors, everyone knows who these A's actors are. Everyone knows who Ajay Zalba is, they know who Don Chido is, they know who Andy Serkis is, they know who Anthony Bassett is, who's in Black Panther, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They know all those actors, obviously. They know Lee Jamal and Sue. He did Blood Diamond. He was in Shazam. He was in Gladiator, you know what I'm saying? Everyone knows Gladiator. Watch the movie Gladiator, yeah. 
Everyone knows LeBron Jojo because he did Victorious, and we, everyone watched the Victorious show because VJ was in the show. It was VJ's show. They all know LeBron Jojo. Everyone knows John Baega. He did Star Wars. Everyone knows Neil Manette. She did Victorious. Everyone knows Ariana Grande. She's an A-list celebrity. Everyone knows Carl Urban in Lord of the Rings and Star Trek and The Boys, which is a very popular show. Yeah. The Hollywood celebrities are going to build buzz from that movie, honestly. That's why they're worth their millions, but but, but 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 do not let them rip you off. Okay. Do not let them rip you off, honestly. You know, it's because they're working for me and they're in my movie, and they're Hollywood actors, and more people are gonna the whole world will see my movie. The actors, um, the way I see it is the actors' worth goes up. You, like you should, their acting, the work doesn't go well, but I believe you should pay them a bit more money, because 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 they're the, 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 the best of the best, and they're in your movie. If you want to get a good movie, that without those Hollywood actors, you have no movie. You have you have. It's not just about me; it's about them too. Like everyone has to work together as a team to, to, to make a great movie. Obviously, because they're Hollywood actors and they're working your movie, what. And, and they're working for the biggest company in the world, and it's Ivan Movie, obviously, an Ivan VJ movie. The world watching that, pay them more money. A bit more money than what they even make in Hollywood. That way they work even harder for you to get a better movie. I know what I'm doing. That way you work hard, they work harder and you, you get a better movie, obviously. From there. Hence why for the contracts, for the Zanus actors, um, and the Great Escape. Well, the Great Escape, the director will not be helping you sign the contracts. <clears throat> um, the director who did John Wick or Casino Royale, I'm not gonna have him sign the actors with me. Um, you could if you want, but I'm not gonna give him much business power. I'll give him a lot of creative power, but not much business power. Like he doesn't like. I can give him power over my secretaries, and like maybe maybe the three, but like my two. CEOs have power over him. He can do that. The business power. So he might exactly produce or help me with the calls, but I'm not giving him goodbye. I might not have him help me sign a contract. I'll just sign a contract myself or with VJ for the Great Escape. For the Matrix, I'll give the 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 Wakanda sisters full power for that, and they would help me sign the contracts for for, for the Matrix. Obviously, if I do the Matrix, they're gonna help me sign Michael B. Jordan. They're gonna help me sign Brie Larson, John Krasinski, Ben Affleck. Paul Betty, they're gonna help me sign all those guys. If I do the Matrix, do the Great Escape. Me, I will just sign Keanu Reeves and all them for the for the Great Escape. And VJ, right, will help me sign the contracts. Sign Keanu, Ben, Scarlet first. Obviously, they're the big A's actors. Do you sign Paul Bettany, B. Larson, and John Krasinski? Do you sign the other couples who are most likely gonna be B. List actors? Javier Bardem, do you sign him? Do you sign yeah. Obviously. Yeah, if you want your company to be the best brand in the entertainment industry, um, offer the actors better perks than what Hollywood gives you, staying at suites for like a week, for six months to a year. For Zaynus, the actors are going to be staying in suites the third year, for the entire year. Peter O'Mell will be staying in suites for an entire year, yeah, even more than a year. Even into the second year, they're going to be staying because. I want Peter O'Mell to help me sign the contract second year. So they're going to be staying in the, in the hotel for like a year and like two weeks before I send them back home, obviously. But when they're overseeing the stuff in Switzerland, they're not staying. They're no longer staying in the suites. They're going to stay in a standard hotel. They're going to save money. And you got to watch out for your budget, obviously. obviously. Peter O'Mell and Ivan, we're going to stay in suites in, in Switzerland. I know, guys. You're staying in standard. That's fine, Ivan. You gotta watch for your budget. Yeah, I gotta watch my budget. I'm not gonna have you stay. I'll have liberal services for you, and you'll be eating at a nice buffet. But you're gonna stay in a, in a, in a top quality hotel, but not a luxury one, uh, a standard one, a three hundred dollar night room. All those one hundred and sixty people and Peter, Frank, and Motor and Barry Osborne, Mel, and all them. They're gonna be staying in a standard hotel together, and I'll have liberal services for them. I can easily afford it. And they'll be take. Uh, they'll take them to the buffet every. Every every um for their lunch and their dinner, and I'll probably have my team make the call to a hotel that has a buffet, a 
lot of hotels have buffets, right? Make sure the hotel has a buffet um, and, and downstairs. That way, Pierre and all of them can eat over the buffet downstairs, obviously. Or if they don't, if you can't find a hotel that has a buffet, which you, they will, obviously, you, you have to pay for the breakfast too, obviously. Here and them are going to be hard at work second year, working seven days a week, man. I'm not giving them any breaks. But all Peter and them are going to be doing is just overseeing stuff. Every day, I, Peter, every day I want you constantly going to, each of you guys go to a different section. Okay, Peter, you you go to the, the you go and, and, and check on uh, what a workshop. Where Molotov checks on the costume designers. Fran checks on, Fran and Mary Osmond check on the, uh, on the what? On, 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 on the construction workers. And Sarah, and Peter has to constantly keep tabs on my account how much money got burned. Okay, how much money on the forty million dollar budget going towards all this? How much of the money forty million got burned? Yeah, we, we blew a good like seven million dollars, eight million dollars so far. Okay, that way that way my account knows, and that way I know. Me and my wife know, and Sarah. I'm gonna get my coffee any minute now. So you're gonna have to excuse the wait. Let's get the movie on the wait, guys. Yeah, if you want your company to compete with Hollywood, you got to what? Give the actors better perks. So partying up on your three hundred million dollar condo, which is unheard of. As, as like, go watch the movie Incredibles. That's something after my condo, man. Something really, really high tech. These these actors in Hollywood don't own those kind of condos. They own like 11, 20, 15, 8 million dollar condos, 5 million dollar condos. I'm pretty sure Kevin Feige had parties in his house. He invited the stars to his house for parties. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure what? Bob Iger had parties at his house. Or Bob Chapek. I'm pretty sure David Zazel had parties at his house. He invited some of the stars. Yeah, they had, these actors are rich. They have like five, eight, ten million dollar houses. For Lord of the Rings, Bob Shea and Michael Lynn had a party at the like they had like an eleven million dollar mansion. The guys were loaded. And they invited all the stars to their house. It's, it's, it's in the book. There's there's a picture of it. And they invite all the stars and Peter to their house and they had a party at the executive's house. Eleven million dollar mansion is nice, but it's nothing compared to my three hundred million dollar uh, penthouse condo, man. Actors gonna be part up there, man. Yeah, with Peter and all them or Mel. At my condo, which is a nice perk, man. Partying up at a three hundred million dollar condo is nice, man. Except my parties are clean; they're not dirty. I'm not into dirt. I want my parties one hundred percent clean. No drugs, no coke. You know what I'm saying? No crack, no meth, none of that. Everyone just drinks their liquor. Obviously, everyone just drinks their liquor. Obviously, and what? Everyone just drinks their liquor, obviously. And we have cigars, and that's it. No dirty shit going on in the rooms. You can dance if you want with a woman if you want. You talk to them and all stuff, but that's it, man. Keep it clean. No dirty shit. I'm saying. Ivan, are you gonna are you, Ivan, are you gonna be kissing your wife on something? No, no, not in my three hundred condo. No, I'm gonna keep it clean. I just chill, I talk with everyone, all stuff. The the the, the what? The um the, 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 the hotel party is a is a different story. That's a crazy party, obviously. That's a crazy party. People are gonna be making out all that stuff. That's why I'm gonna tell the actors you can bring your your girlfriend, your husband, or your wife with you, or your boyfriend with you to the to the party. That way you have a good time with your uh with your girlfriend or your wife. It's not fair that I have VJ and I'm making out with her and the actors have no one to make out with. You know what I'm saying? So they can bring their, 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 their girlfriend with them. That way they can have a good time with them. Whereas the rest of the crewmen can't bring their, 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 their wife or whatever it is. So they're going to be alone pretty much. But I mean, that's too bad. Yeah. I guarantee some crewmen will probably make out with each other. Well, the party is a little dirty. Well, I, it, look, man, whatever happens, you know, I, can't, I can't control your... I'm, I'm not responsible for your personal life. I'm not going to babysit you. If you want to... If you want to what do stupid shit, it's, it's your problem, man. It's none, it's none of my business, so Sarah. Yeah, anything to do with business is my business. Anything to do with your personal life is not my business. I'm saying that. 
But yeah, for the hotel party, you're looking at a wild party. You're looking at something wild for that. That's like, you look, imagine 50 hundreds of people partying up inside and out in a fucking hotel. It's a crazy fucking party, man. People sipping margaritas in the pool area. People dancing. People jump. People, people, people dancing. People making out. People in, 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 the out, in, in the jacuzzi room. It's an inside party. It's like people are partying it up inside and outside. It's a crazy party. Something crazy, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, partying up my yacht, doing tables in my yacht, limo services. The third year, the actors get limo services all year for a whole day. It'll cost me a good, like, I don't know, $600,000 for all of them. Easy to afford it. I have a big seven eighty when I budget going towards the movie. Again, they're they're going to need transportation, so you don't want these actors paying for their cab and all that stuff. So they're going to need transportation. Okay, you have transportation for your for your for your dinner, your lunch, and chances are I'll book a hotel that has breakfast for them in the morning, a buffet breakfast for them in the morning, and then for dinner and lunch, if the limo service takes me to the buffet restaurant. Or you can give them like a per dime gift card if you want. Um, I'm gonna ask my team: Is it better if I if, if I give them a gift card? I can give the actors like a what, like a six thousand dollar gift card for, for their food for that one year. Or is it better that they go they go to a buffet restaurant? I would just take them to a buffet restaurant. That's better that way. They go to a buffet restaurant for dinner and lunch. All you can eat. Do not give them six thousand dollars. No, it's just, just take them to a buffet restaurant. It's better that way. They get limo service. If they want to go see a movie on theater, but they, I, I'll do a thing where after midnight, they no longer have limo services. Obviously. They no longer have limo services, obviously, after midnight. You can do some of that. After 2 o'clock, maybe, in the morning, the, the limo service stops. So if they want to go to a bar downtown, limo service can take them there, but like they can only stay there till 2 and they have to go back home. You can do some of that. And then I, they, they get the limo services early in the morning around 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 noon or noonish around or ten or nine o'clock they get the limo service again. Do some of that with the actors. The chances are the actors will be going out to bars. They're probably going to hang out at the bar in the hotel a lot. Go to the bar and also have a drink a lot in the hotel. And sometimes they're going to Avon Jones. They probably know some good bars in Vancouver. Yeah, guys, I know I know a few good bars, and he, he, he you know, so the actors go to all these uh, few bars in Vancouver, and they have a drink together at the bar. And the limo service will take them there, but, like, after a certain time, you no longer get limo service. So, so if you go to a bar, do not hang around it after 2 o'clock. Most bars close at 2 anyways, right? Most bars cl- close at, like, 1.30, 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, the limo driver can take you back to your hotel, obviously. And sometimes they're going to go see movies on theaters together on the weekends. I might go see a few movies on theaters with the actors. I'll pay for them out of my pocket. Yeah, guys, I'll just go see a movie. It's on me. I'll pay for it. I won't touch my business account for that. I'll pay. I can easily pay my business account, but I'll pay with my personal account. I'll pay for the actors. You go out to dinner. You can get whatever you want at the theaters. It's on me. I'll do that sometimes, honestly. Obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you want your comedy bread in Holland, you got to offer the actors better perks. Um, higher pay. More Hollywood pays on average. Bigger budget movies. Crazier fame. And the best thing of all, freedom. One thing Hollywood cannot, cannot give you. Hollywood will not give you freedom. They'll give you fame and wealth, but you got to do it to make your money worth. I'm giving you fame, wealth, and freedom. Because I'm clean. I'm not dirty. I'm a clean business person. I'm a holy man. I'm not interested in being a dirty business person. I'm not going to make an actor do it to fucking make his money. Especially if he's married and he's in a relationship. It's, it's really dirty. I'm not going to make him do that. You know, right? Like, he's living that life. He, he, he deserves to pay a price. No, he doesn't. You think uh, b- being wealth and fame, you have to pay a price. Well, I don't I don't, I don't believe in that. I think if, if you, can, you can be wealthy, famous, and you can be free, it's not hard to be a clean business person. Because you guys are wicked people, obviously. You don't you see you see wealth and f- you see wealth and fame as something that someone has to pay for. You know what I'm saying? 
Why do why you make, make you pay? Because the, because it's not fair that this guy is making all this money. He's, he's famous. He, 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 he didn't pay a price for it. Whereas a poor person is very making you buy and he's free, obviously. It's not fair to the poor people, obviously. You struggle making ends meet. And this Hollywood star is making money and he's living out life. He has to pay for that. That's why they think people in this world think you have to pay to be rich and famous. It's not fair to the average person. That's why they make you pay. Yeah, it's not fair that you, it's not fair that you, you're making all this money and and, and and you're fucking famous. You can you can buy your mansion, you get your nice cars, live it out life, and you and you think you're not gonna pay for that. You're gonna pay for that, man. And the the, 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 the gatekeepers make the Hollywood actors pay in Hollywood, obviously. They gave them a good deal. Obviously, they're they're famous and rich, but they're, they're, they're dirty slaves. Uh, whereas me, uh, the actors get their freedom. But most people in the world will do it for money anyways. Yeah, I'd do it for money, Ivan. Yeah, most people will not do it for money. <laughs> people do anything for money, man. We live in a crazy world. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you give the actors better perks. So first year, the actors... Third year, the actors will... Um, We'll start their tactical training and horse training in Vancouver with me. Obviously, and my wife, obviously, or myself. We'll see what happens. And um, I'm going to hire like five summons to train all of us in tactical training for Zanus. And yeah, something like that. And the actors uh, will do six days a week, six day a week table reads. Table reads I'll do in the evening around like six o'clock. After they've eaten their dinner, I'll do table reads with them. Six, seven o'clock, I'll do table reads with the actors. Summertime, I'll do it in my office or my condo sometimes. I'll do it in my office. Summertime, winter time, I'll do it in my office. In my boardroom, the table reads. So everyone sits around the boardroom. And we do table reads. You can, you, can have, you can have a beer. I can get you guys. Uh, you guys can have three beers. But you only have you know you're only gonna have three beers like three times like two to three times a week two times a week around there. It's not good to drink every day. It's it's fine for me and my wife. We're God. Where you're not us, man. It's not good for you to drink every day, you guys. You know, I could give you three beers every day, but it's not good for you, man. I will be fine. I'm like, guys, it's not good for you to drink every day, man. It's not good for you. I worry about you. I, I'm not. You're not. You're not me, man. You're not God. You don't have the God gene. Guys, I've been I've been drinking beer every day for like two weeks every month since like twenty twenty, and I've been smoking since twenty like seventeen, almost every day pretty much uh, a year if you average it out. And my lungs are fine, man. I don't have any problem with my lungs. My liver is fine. I'm perfectly fine, man. My blood sugar is supposed to be high, but I think it's bullshit. It has to do with my blood me mixing my eggs, obviously, because the doctors are ineffective. They're not going to tell me that, obviously. Ivan, you have high blood pressure. I'm like, I barely even eat junk food. I eat maybe, I don't know, I eat maybe slices maybe three times a month. Eat Subway maybe f four times a month and that's it. And the food I usually eat at home is pretty healthy food. With salad and that kind of stuff. And then my blood sugar is through the roof. Yeah, since I'm mixing my eggs, obviously. But yeah. Yeah, so I'll do table reads six days a week. So what I'll do is we do training. The actors do training every morning. Early every morning around maybe 8 or 7, 8 or 6 is too early. They do training at 7.30, 8 o'clock for two hours, obviously. And after they do their training, the actors can eat, eat their breakfast. They eat their breakfast. Or they eat their breakfast first and they train. I recommend they train first and they eat their breakfast. Train, you can do it at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's fine. 6 to 8, and at 8 o'clock they eat their breakfast at the hotel. So my team's going to have to rent a facility for that, for the actors' training. Obviously. And then I'll do table reads after they eat their dinner. After they eat their dinner, I do table reads. So winter time, I'll do it in my office, my nice office. I'll do the table read. So Lemon Driver will pick the actors up, take them to my office, and they meet with me and VJ, and we do table reads together with a beer. I'll give them three beers to drink. I'll drink. They can drink beer three, two to three days a week, and that's it for table reads. 
obviously. And once a month, I do party. I do a, a once a month party with them. Um, I'll probably book a lounge maybe a few times during the winter time. I'll book a lounge party up in the lounge with the actors. I might do maybe a few parties in my condo. I don't want to party at my condo. Once. I'll probably do a few parties in my condo. I might do a party in my office, an office party. So I, everyone gets drunk around in my office. And everyone hangs around my boardroom area, my main room, and then they, 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 they sit down on the couch and they get drunk. So I can do that. An office party, I might do that. I'm probably going to do most of my parties in my office and in a lounge. Because I don't want to party at my condo too much. I'm already going to be partying up my condo quite a bit second year. With, with, with after the attitudes and all so, so I don't want to party it up quite. In summer and fall, I party up in my yacht. I do all my parties in my yacht. I do my tabories in the yacht. In the fall and summer. So winter, spring, I do it in my office. In my boardroom. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then what? And then uh, summer, fall, I do it in my yacht. I hire the driver, he drives in the ocean, and the actors do a few days. That's a nice perk, man. They drive in the ocean, the actors do the party in my yacht. They sit down in the yacht, and they read their script. It was like top notch. I'm going to come to blow out of the water, yeah. Yeah, and I'll give them three beers. But you, I'm only giving you three beers, like, two to three times a week. That's enough, man. I'm not giving you it every day. It's not good for you. There. And I'll do once on parties with them. Obviously. Summer, fall... Summer, fall, I party up my yacht for the party, once on parties. In the winter, spring, I, I party up in my studio office. In my studio office or my, uh, or my, or a lounge. I'll book a lounge. To book a lounge for five hours only cost me maybe a thousand dollars to rent. Rent a top high end lounge and I rent, I rent a lounge book for me and all the actors. So the day I do the, the, the party, I will do the table reads in that lounge, and after that we party it up. And hire a bartender to serve drinks. And I'll make sure I buy a bunch of alcohol for the actors. Hey, how much how much are you? Okay, there's gonna be 18 actors and the five stuntmen and my accountant. You're looking at a good 20 some people. You know, I'll buy a good 20 bottles of liquor. Do a party in the in the, in the, in the lounge. I'm talking about. Give me a sec, guys. I want to go upstairs and get my coffee. I'll be back in a sec. I'll hate you in a sec. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, I made a uh, fresh car for myself, and now 
I'm back and uh, I'll continue the video. Obviously, you guys will enjoy this series. All the time. I know you guys are my videos, you better enjoy it while you still can. Once I'm have peace in my life, I'm just saying that. I'm not in the mood for games. I'm running away with or without VJ, and you're left behind, you're not safe. Keep saying that. Who's there? Yeah, so the actors will do table reads six days a week, third year. That way they're refreshed, they're constantly refreshed. Now give them Sundays off. So I even think, yeah, they'll be working five days a week and I give them weekends off. That way the actors are not stressed out. So five days a week they do their they do their tactical training and they do their horse training. The men do horse training twice a week, the women do it five days. The men do three days tackle training. I'm saying. That way they're, they're prepped, obviously. Then every afternoon we do table reads six days a week. So even though they get Saturdays off, the only thing they have to do is do table reads in the afternoon. That's it. But I'm only going to do table reads for a good an hour and a half, two hours every afternoon, and we're done. We go over the entire script over and over again. Well, we're refreshed, and everyone's prepped for the role. Everyone's, everyone's now a badass horse rider and a badass sword fighter, a uh, range fighter, right? Badass horse rider, but they're also refreshed because I'm doing tabories every day, six days a week, and, and, and six days a week, obviously, with the actors. The ones, the actors who will be in Switzerland, the minor characters who will not be tackle training, though they're going to have to do tabories in Switzerland too. And so I'm going to make sure my script developers make sure they do the tabories. Hey, you guys have to do your tabories six days a week too. The way you're, they're minor characters; they're, they're not in much scenes, but I want you constantly going over your lines, man. The way you're prepped, man. Is there? The way you're prepped, yeah. And the actor for Erita for Fool Morality Feast is I'll have them do voice acting work in Vancouver. I'll rent out a studio. They have to practice doing their voice acting work. No, they don't have to do that. I mean, because they're going to be wearing, they're, 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 they're wearing the mask. So they don't, they, they're, they're not, they're voice actors in the sense that they're wearing the mask and you hear the voice, but... You could have them in the studio, or you can just have them train five days a week. I mean, I could have them be in the studio. They practice make, doing voices, demonic voices, that kind of stuff. You can do that. Rent the studio. I think you for it. Rent the studio and have the um, the actor for Eratat, for Fool, Morale, Ephesus, have, those, have them practice their voice acting. And the, the actor for Elizabeth, Elizabeth does not ride a horse in the movie. I believe she doesn't, right? Like the Crow actors, Eagle actors, Mass, Bass, Darius, those actors are going to be in Switzerland. They're not going to be with me in Vancouver. They're going to be with